Okay, my team, in case you can't tell, is the Cincinnati Bengals. That's a whole story that I'm not going to get into in this particular video. But what I am going to get into is what do you do when your team, like mine has this year, doesn't make the playoffs? What can you do with that time between the end of week 17 and then the start of week one with those three hours that you're going to gain back every single week, whether it's a Sunday, a Saturday, or a Thursday, or whenever they show football these days. So when your team doesn't make the playoffs, you can plant a garden. It could be a food garden, a flower garden, a zen garden, a rock garden. It can be any kind of garden that you want. And because you've got time, you can start from seed. I've got a tower garden, so we'll probably start there. When your team doesn't make the playoffs, you can cook meals for the day, the week that are still. You can plan your meals for the week. And who doesn't love to save money when you've got all this time on hand anyways? You're saving time. You might as well save money and save a little bit of health. Leave some room for some of those fattier foods <laughs> for when the football season kicks off again. The new Totino's Totino 2-Pack. When your team doesn't make the playoffs, volunteer in your community. Your team may not need your support right now, but there are plenty of people who do. When your team doesn't make the playoffs, read some books. Physical books, audiobooks, ebooks, fiction, nonfiction. You can even read some of those longer articles in your read it later list that have been languishing there. You've got time to read, so take advantage of it. When your team doesn't make the playoffs, take Sundays or Saturdays or Thursdays during those three hours to plan, to journal, to meditate, or to a degree, all three of those things. When your team doesn't make the playoffs, take the field, literally. Explore your environment, city, country. It doesn't even have to be yours. Just get out and explore. It could be indoors or outdoors too, but take those hours and use it to explore. Look. There's a shade of over 50 hours at minimum between the end of week 17 when the final whistle blows for your team and week one when kickoff for the next season begins all over again. Imagine what you could do with those hours. As a matter of fact, just sharing this with you has me thinking about what I'm going to do with mine. Okay, so I was wrong. It's actually 108.8 hours approximately. So you've got more time, so make the most of it. You've got double the time, so make the most of it. I know I will.